Hello everyone, I'm John, the president of Geota. What's the easy and fast way to diagnosis breakdown of cars? Exchange the suspicious part with the new one. But who should be in charge of stress and the cost when the diagnosis fails? It's a mechanic yourself. We use various diagnostic tools to find the breakdown of cars. Scan tool is a typical diagnostic tool. Unfortunately, what scan tool says is a little bit comprehensive and not detailed. So, a mechanic should figure out using other tools. If it's a matter of part itself, or wire harness connected to the part. To discover the failure of electronic parts, you need to use LabScope. So, most of scan tools contain LabScope function. But, LabScope is not easy to use for skilled mechanic as well as beginner. High costs, difficult to set up screen, demanding analysis methods are obstacles. Now, I'm introducing new diagnostic tool replacing LabScope. It's GeotoProof. Basic principle of GeotoProof is logic proof. Let's check that on. This lamp lights up at positive pole. This lamp lights up at negative pole. And no lamp lights up when it measures nothing. Digital multimeter usually only shows zero volt and negative pole and when it measures nothing. But GeoProof can distinguish those two conditions. It's the principle of logic proof. Let me check pulse with this probe. This signal is pure injector pulse. This ramp means ground. And this on means 12 volt. The two lamps twinkle in turn. It means that fuel injector has pulse from ground to 12 volt. One of the two wires connected to fuel injector is supplied positive voltage continuously. When signal and voltage of two wires are normal and injection on this fuel injector fails, you can be sure fuel injector itself is out of order. This is MESS airflow sensor. Airflow sense has pulse from ground to 5 volt as you can see. Push the select button and you can check frequency of airflow sense pulse after changing the mode from voltage which is default mode to frequency. Frequency means the number of pulse for one second and its unit is hertz. It shows 2.6 now. This point of digit means 1000. In other words, 2.6 kHz is the same as 2600 Hz. That is, airflow sensor is moving 2600 times in a second. Push the sector again and change the mode to duty cycle. Duty indicates positive section in a pulse cycle in percentage term. Let's say a pulse cycle is 100% and the positive section is duty cycle. It shows 47% of duty cycle of airflow sensor pulse. Often the section of duty cycle is called positive duty, while the other section is called negative duty. When checked mass airflow sensor using scan tool, it said mass airflow sensor doesn't work and shows fault code. But when we check it using geoto group, it shows normal pulse. It means circuit of wire harness between mass airflow sensor and controller is opened. Let me explain composition of geoto group now. GeoProof segments broadly into three parts. The most important part is LED lamp indicator. It shows the state of voltage and the pulse measured. The next one is switch part. 
This is power. Push the button more than 0.5 seconds to turn on. If you keep pushing the button more than 5 seconds, it enters into calibration mode. It turns off if you push the power again. It turns off after 3 minutes when it is not used to save the battery. This is the selector. The default mode is voltage and it changes to frequency and duty cycle when you push the selector. This is right switch. You can find the targets easily by means of right LED after pushing right button. It turns off automatically after 5 seconds. This is digit indicator. It states voltage, frequency, and duty cycle in figures. It's shown like this when it measures nothing. Let me explain color table. These three lamps actually is not lamps. They are reflectors for reading light of the lamps out. Each reflector has three LED lamps showing the colors marked. The number on the left side of circle indicates the lowest voltage. Blue lamp lies up between 0 volt and 0.5 volt. Orange lamp lies up between 0.6 volt and 1.2 volt. Red lamp lies up between 1.3 volt and 2.5 volt. And Blue lamp lies up between 2.6 volt and 4.0 volt. Each LED lamp of zero proof response to their voltage. Therefore, more than two lamps cannot be light up at the same time. But you may see two lamps light up when measuring pulse. It's because very fast pulse have the two lamps light up in turn, and your eyes take after imaging effect right of film. Line lamps express the signals of cars in up. Oxygen sensor draws the sine wave having boundary of 0.5 volt. It remains in upper section than 0.5 volt when fuel air ratio is reached. And it remains in the lower section when the mixture ratio is green. So, you can be sure if exhaust gas is rich or green depending on a lamp blinking when you check oxygen sensor using zero probe. Let me check battery performance. You have to plug out wire harness of fuel injector to override fuel. Put the gear in neutral. Contact zero proof to positive pole of battery and crank. Watch carefully lamp indicator of the proof. If battery condition is not good, voltage drops to lower than 9.3 volt within 5 seconds and red lamp at the meter lights up. It causes a serious problem when electric ground condition is bad. Blue lamp at the bottom lights up if the ground is in good condition between 0 and 0.5 volt. If there is a serious problem could cause hunting on engine. It means ground of sensor exceeds 1.2 volt which is 10% of whole voltage. And red lamp at the first reflect lights up. You should start the engine and all electrical instruments such as headlight, air conditioner, defogger, and audio should be loaded when testing. GeoProof helps you make a decision about the effects of cars quickly and accurately, save time and cost, and establish the concept of signals. Please watch the video again if you can't fully understand at once. Thank you.